All right, guys, welcome to another video, Western Sharpies RC. Glad you could join me. I thought I'd do a little video here and share with you guys what I've been working on and uh, kind of just document some of the uh, footage as the build progresses. But anyway, this is it here. It's a 14th uh, it's a 14 scale, 20-foot uh, C-can print, and it just I just finished doing it. It was a hell of a print. I uh, beat the hell out of the printer for this one. I had to get a special printer just to do this. Um, because it's a 40 centimeter tall print. I mean, you can kind of see in relation to my, my hand how big it is. So um, I needed a, a printer that could print something that big. Or you could use, I guess, something smaller and then use uh, like slicing software, like a mesh mixer or something to, to make it. But then you have to glue two pieces together or something. And I didn't want to go down that road. So I just picked up a, a printer especially for these cans because I want to make a few of them but it's a really cool print I got it from Colts uh, I think it was about 15 bucks Canadian and uh, like I said it's a hell of a print this this thing here took me about three oh, four days but you could probably uh, through some editing I mean mine's pretty dense I, I always put a lot of infill in my in my prints uh, just because I want them I mean you can't feel the weight but it's pretty heavy um, I kind of want mine to be sturdy in case they warp in the sun or just uh, for whatever reason. I'd rather spend a little more time and money uh, on the material so I get something that's going to be for really sturdy and straight and true. So it's a really nice print. It fits perfect on the 14 scale um, trailers and stuff like that. As you can tell, I'm kind of doing a lot more 14 scale stuff as opposed to the crawler stuff right now. But anyway, this is it right now. I printed it in blue PLA. I'm probably going to make it a... Uh, I don't know, whatever some of the company logos are or the company brands that are blue, the, the containers. I'll get all the uh, the decals and the badging. It still needs a lot of work. I got the doors I got to put on here and uh, kind of mixing and matching right now just to show you because I'm printing one in white and then I'm printing this one in blue, but just to kind of see how, and I apologize for the shakiness and the autofocus stuff because it's, it's a really big um, container here and I'm kind of just holding the, uh, the phone up in the air. So, but it's a really nice fitting, uh, print and it prints really well you can kind of see here the fit like I said I'm gonna be using this on a, on a, on a white can and then I got a, a blue one printing as well but just to give you guys an idea there's a few pieces to it here's the uh, the front of it and then um, the back's gonna have some doors and you'll see all that in some upcoming videos but um, I think you can drop these things straight onto a, uh, I think a Tamiya chassis or a Hercules chassis, a 114 scale um, chassis. But here you can kind of see, you can't see what you can kind of hear, just the weight. I mean, just a print like this here uh, took me almost uh, almost two days. So like I said, just because I use a lot of infill and um, I make them really, really heavy so that they're nice and, and clean and straight and all that. So. Uh, anyway, I printed this with a, a, a 0.4 nozzle for all the guys out there that kind of know the details of printing. Um, you can print it with a bigger nozzle so that it speeds up the printing time, but you kind of compromise uh, um, some of the, the, the quality, I guess. But this thing looks really nice. It's, it's printed really good. So um, anyway, like I said, it fits really nice on the, uh, on the 14 scale uh, trailers. And you can kind of see the width so um, I'm not gonna drop this one on a chassis you know sometimes you see these things on flatbeds so uh, what I'm planning on doing is you know sometimes you, these aren't long enough but I'm gonna maybe make something to extend the, uh, the strap so they can hook onto the other side but I think that'll look kind of cool and I'm just kind of loose for now but just to give you guys an idea you can kind of see what it's going to look like. I'll figure out a way. But uh, something like that, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, you see those from time to time rolling down the road like that. They're on a flatbed and not a, not a chassis trailer. So, anyway, guys, uh, that's pretty much it. Just thought I'd show you where I'm at with this thing. Any questions, let me know. Leave a comment. Um, other than that, I'll uh, see you guys in the next video.